I have tried to read up on it. Uh, at the one point, about, about a year after I started uh, running Doctor Who, I thought, I'll, I'll try and read up about this. And oh my goodness, it's difficult. According to Einstein's special theory of relativity, the faster you move, the slower time beats inside your rocket ship. That means travel into the future is possible. In fact, every time our astronauts blast off into outer space, they actually go into the future just by a tiny fraction of a second. If you could approach the speed of light, then time would slow down dramatically. Eventually, time would stop altogether. Doctor Who has a technology centuries, maybe millennia more advanced than ours, in which case going right up to the speed of light is child's play. When that happens, time slows down inside your rocket ship. So if he wants to go to a nearby star, for example, it takes four years for a light beam to reach that star. But in his TARDIS, it may take four seconds. In the opening sequence for Doctor Who, you see the TARDIS tumbling through a tunnel. Now, to my mind, that tunnel could represent a wormhole. And it's taking the TARDIS from normal space through this wormhole, which is, which is basically curved space and time, to somewhere else. To travel from one part of space-time to another part of space-time, you can take the linear route, which is what we do. We travel through our lives, going sort of progressing through time. But at the same time, sometimes we can consider distorting space-time. So rather than having your flat sheet, you can distort space-time and having two events, which might be quite far away from each other, brought together closer, and then you can travel between them with a wormhole. Hold on tight. Everyone, hold on! For instance, there's uh, one case where there's a London bus travelling along, the Doctor's on board with a number of other people. They go through a tunnel in London and end up in the desert on another planet. Look, look, if you must know, I was tracking a hole in the fabric of reality. Call it a hobby, but it was a tiny little hole. No danger to anyone. Suddenly it gets big and we drive right through it. And wormholes um, could work this way. We drove through this. You could travel from one planet to another planet in a matter of seconds by travelling through a wormhole. And that's... A door. A door in space. And no matter how fantastic these ideas are, we measure them in the laboratory. This is not science fiction, it's science fact. Get used to it. The Science of Doctor Who, an all-new special, premieres Saturday, August 4th at 9 on BBC America.